Do you need DBS checks for your staff members? And wondering, should you pay or not pay? What am I have to leave in three weeks? Oh, what am I going to do? Will it be a waste of money? Let's talk about that. Remember to give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it so I know to make more videos like this. This is also video four in a video series, which is all about employees. The video before this, part one to four, is all about zero contract hours. Should you give your new staff a zero hour contract? And exactly what my thoughts are on that. And also a really nice big fat juicy tip at the end of that that you can use instead of your hour contracts to make life so much easier for yourself and attract quality staff members. So hello and thank you very much for joining me today. If you have already subscribed and you're one of my YouTubers or even a massive welcome if you're part of my Kingdom Me tribe. But if you're new, welcome and thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you for joining me. I am Ilza Whiteman, if you don't know me already. I've had a successful cleaning business for 12 years and I am now known as the cleaning coach and I'm also the creator of the Cleaning Me tribe which is a monthly subscription coaching program for cleaning business owners that wants to stop being overwhelmed and chasing their tail. So firstly, let's just ZBS check if your staff members need this. And this is something that your business probably will advertise or will be a benefit that your company offers to your customers to make sure they're safe. So the easiest way of where to get it is the government's website. I will include a link down below right underneath my book that I used to train my cleaners with. So have a look for the book and then you'll see the link underneath straight to the government's website. So in the UK, you do it on their website. You can use any company you like. All I'm saying is the government is actually providing this service for us. Why not? So there's two different types, which is standard and enhanced. The standard is 23 pounds and the enhanced is 40 pounds. Now the standard takes two weeks, 14 days to complete, and the enhanced one takes up to eight weeks. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you need the enhanced DBS check, but that is completely up to you. Now, the second thing that we need to discuss today is a question that comes up a lot. So do you, as a cleaning business owner, do you provide your staff with DBS checks? The correct answer would be no, you don't have to. As your business grows and your business will become bigger, yes, this is something that you can do as a business, but you don't have to. So. Also, you don't want this to be another cost to your business because this is something that they keep for themselves, guys. This is not, it's a benefit to your business. And if they don't have it, it's a benefit to your business. They need it. But if they can apply to another cleaning company, they can need one in any case. If they're going to apply to be care or school or anything else, they will need one. So this is something to enhance themselves, right? So therefore, I believe that unless you're a really big company with a really big budget, you can actually say to them or request this as something they need to have done, which is what most companies do, by the way. You can say to them, look, you can get it done or I'll pay for it up front. However, you will pay for it in, um, on a monthly basis in installments. So you can take up £10 a month or whatever you need to. Look, it's 23 quid. It's not going to break the bank. It's only going to be a big difference when you come to the 100 people you need to put for a month for DBS check, but you're still going to ask them to do that themselves. But at that point, you'll be like, look, if you don't have a DBS check, go work for somebody else, right? This is something that is their responsibility to have done. And if anybody thinks they're going to work for a cleaning business and not have one done, they're a bit naive and I probably wouldn't employ them. Now, I'm not saying don't employ people that don't have them done. I'm just saying this is a business requirement. Therefore, you state that they have to either do it. The minute they've done it, they have evidence that they've submitted it at least and they have to pay for it or you'll pay for it if they really don't have the money and you're going to take it out of their money on a monthly basis. Say they're going to pay over it over four months or whatever the case may be for you to help them out. But you do not have to pay for it. This is your business, your rules. And the reason you're starting your own cleaning business is so you can have your own rules and make up your own rules that suit you how you want your business to run. So this is completely your decision. I don't think you're going to get less staff because you don't pay for it, because it's just one of those things. The requirement is you do it. And a lot of companies, even if you're a carer, you have to pay for your own DBS check or they pay for it because they're doing it through their system and then they you have to pay it back. Make sure you mention this in an interview. Don't wait till you've after like employed them and you're like, oh, could you see it right now? You can start, oh, by the way, can you do your DBS check and you need to pay for it as well. And then they go, oh, um, why don't you tell me about this before, right? It's not about they don't want to do it. It's because you didn't tell them up front. Always be up front with everything you do even though it might be painful at the time to say, or you might think, oh God, you know, maybe they're not going to work for me if I mention it. Mention it. 
because if they're not going to work for you because they have to pay 23 pounds and then it wasn't worth it in the first place right remember your business rules and regulations is what's going to build very strong foundations for your cleaning business and therefore stick with it and also if you do that make sure that you tell them that they need to apply before their first starting date make sure this is very clear to them there's no if buts and maybes afterwards they're gonna come oh what, when did i have to do it by now you state to them very clearly make sure they look at you they understand so you're gonna have to repeat yourself that this is something that needs to be done before they start they have to apply for it it also means they're very serious about starting because if they're not they're not gonna bother they're not serious about starting so this is a very good indication as well whether they be a very good employee or not and also remember that a very good employee means turning up on time doing what they're supposed to be doing because it's their responsibility to do a job all that means is the ability to respond if they don't have the ability to respond they're not going to be a good employee and you don't want them in any case in your company so let's wave out the ones that's not that great and let's keep the ones that's really good right we want quality staff members who's going to help us build our business and also you could there's two juicy tips that's coming up right at the end i'm just quickly going to tell you about the kinemi tribe the kinemi tribe is a monthly subscription box coaching membership it's a tribe that me and vicky warrington have designed around cleaning business owners that feel overwhelmed and struggle with time management, procrastination, and just the overwhelming thoughts of everything that is required in your cleaning business. And this is specifically also done for people, you know, having a cleaning business is lonely. It's lonely and it's hard because you feel like you're alone in the world. It's about belonging to a community where you're loved, supported, definitely motivated, inspired but also we all want everybody to succeed more productive doer instead of a shooter like tony robbins says and you shoot all over yourself i should do this and i should do this and you never get anything done if that's you now imagine a world where you are super productive super inspired motivated and you want to succeed you're hungry for it and you're literally doing stuff and all it takes is to get started. That's the key to me's job, to get you to a point where you start and you build momentum. That is when you start seeing success and things are starting to happen. Once you've got momentum, once you've got drive and passion and confidence, you know you're unworthy. You can raise your prices without losing any customers. Even better. The Online Academy also provides you with all of my courses, which is exactly all of my courses combined is what that means. The customer magnet system is worth 125 pounds the range of prices courses were 50 pounds the coaching session we have every week to keep you accountable and to help you vent and to help you get solutions with me every thursday night that alone is priceless we also have inside the group masterclasses i also write you a marketing newsletter every month which you copy and paste and send to your customers which means you will get more money in from your customers Remember, 20% of your customers is going to give you 80% of your revenue. It's the 20-80% rule of business. If you don't know what I mean, Google it, right? It's about getting that 20% of people to spend more because they will spend more in your business. But it's your job to remind them, and this is what the newsletter is all about, to get them, to prime them, to recommend you, to get referrals, to get them to spend more money with your business and to get them to be your sales force. And if you think, I'm not really good at sales, I don't like selling, you will build a reputation that sells itself. You build your sales forces around your staff and your customer. All you need to know is you provide a really good cleaning service for a really high price for awesome customers. That is what having a dream cleaning business is all about. I hope you join me. Click the link below, it will be down below. In the description, there's a special bonus in the tree price just for my YouTube cleaning community. So if you'd like to join me and meet with me every Thursday, like all the other Cleaning Me tribe members, and we find solutions to your problems and help you grow every week, one step at a time. I mean, can you imagine a world where you only work four hours a week if you wanted to go on dream holidays whenever you want to and just own money while you sleep or just simply build a better world 
for your children. That's what Kidami offers. If you have any questions regarding staff or DBS check, or you're currently using a company that you're probably paying a lot more than you should be for your DBS checks, remember to comment down below. Also, if you have any other questions or any other ideas for future videos, if you want to add them down below, this is video four of a 30 video series, all to do with employees. And down below, you could also get the free guide of how to start employing if you've not started before. So the two juicy tips, uh, as far as DBS checks are concerned, is one, you can say to them, look, you can pay for your DBS check. If you're with me for one year, I will give you the money back after one year's full service. So it gives them an incentive to pay for it, they're gonna get the money back. Although it's very little money, but still, it's something that you can offer because you're a great boss, right? So you can offer that for your employees. And remember to state in your contract that if you pay for it, and they're paying it off if you choose that option that if they leave within three weeks make sure that they know that will be taken out of their money because it's something that they're taking with them right just make sure you tell them up front right that's it for this week guys i as always will wish you a very successful week i will definitely see you next week i'm proud of you i love you best of luck see you next week